So in the last session we finished I think till up to 2.3 and I asked you to try some questions of your own and one among those was 2.4. I do not know how many among you have attempted this particular question. If you have attempted that's very fine and you haven't then kindly pay attention. A machinery is sold on higher purchase system. The terms of the payment is four annual installment of 6,000 each. We are supposed to pay, the purchaser is supposed to pay four annual installment of 6,000 each at the end of each year commencing from the date of agreement. Correct? Annual installment are supposed to be paid at the end of each year commencing from the date of agreement. And it is given that interest is charged at the rate of 20% and included in the annual payment of rupees 6,000. Say machinery on higher purchase system has been sold out. The term is that four annual installment of 6,000 at the end of each year, commencing from the date of agreement is will have to be paid out. Interest is charged at the rate of 20% and is included in annual payment of rupees 6,000. Correct? Show machinery account and higher vendor account in the books of the purchaser who defaulted in the payment of the third yearly installment. Now the third installment hasn't been paid so default has been committed on third installment and then what happens in this case uh, machinery was repurchased and uh, depreciation is 10 percent per annum on return down value basis so this is the question the question should not pose any problem to you correct as far as this particular question is concerned it should not pose much problem to you but still i will do it for you Let me actually rub it out because I have a habit of solving the question right from the beginning till the end. Correct? And mm -hmm. so here we go. In this particular question, what is the situation? Let me analyze it first of all. Let us say agreement has taken place here in the beginning of the first year. Correct? This is the beginning of the first year. When we will reach the end of the first year, first year end, first year end, when we will reach the end of the first year, we are supposed to pay first installment 6000. This time there is no down payment. It is clearly written that we are supposed to pay four installment, correct, at the end of each year, commencing from the, what we call, uh, date of agreement. Date of agreement is there, when we will reach the end of the first year, we will pay the first installment and so on, then similarly, 6,000 second installment will pay at the end of the second year, and then we are supposed to pay again 6,000 at the end of the third year, and finally, when we will reach the end of the fourth year, we are supposed to pay 6,000 more. So all in all, we are paying actually 24,000. So 24,000 happens to be your higher purchase price. Unfortunately, in this question, cash price is not given. If cash price is not given, we will have to find out. And you know better than I actually how to compute the cash price. Rate of interest, which is given in this particular question, rate of interest. Rate of interest is actually 20%. So if cash price is not given, you know the methodology of how to find out actually cash price. Isn't it or not? In order to determine the cash price, what I am supposed to do? Now we start the solution. Under step A, first of all, I will find out the rate of interest on higher purchase stallment. Rate of interest on higher purchase stallment. Or higher purchase price you can write also because rate of interest which is given to us is always on cash price as you know by now is it clear to you in order to determine the rate of interest on higher purchase price we know that rate of interest given to us is equal to 20 percent that means if our cash price is 100 our interest is actually 20 so higher purchase price must be equal to 120 Correct. Now you simply put 20 interest figure in the numerator. In the denominator, you write 120. You will get what we call your interest on higher purchase price. Once you have determined it, uh, I will rub it out also. 
it seems it is of previous classes. Okay, just wait. These boxes actually sometimes gets flashed up. Then, after having determined the rate of interest on higher purchase price, your next target should be to compute the interest. In order to compute the interest, what you are supposed to do? Interest computation. In order to compute the interest, correct, in order to compute the interest, what you are supposed to do? First of all, write serial number. Write the installment. Then write interest. And finally, write your cash price portion. Serial number, that is fourth installment, we'll pick up first. Correct, fourth installment. As you know, we have to start from the reverse order. 6,000 is the amount of the installment. And in order to find out the interest, because this is the higher purchase price, stallment is nothing but higher purchase price, that is 1 by 6. This is higher purchase stallment. So, I will apply this rate 1 by 6 and my interest will be equal to 1000. If I will separate 6000 from 1000, I will get actually 5000, correct? Cash price portion. Similarly, we will take up the third stallment. The third stallment also is 6000, isn't it or not? You write 6000. Now, in order to compute the interest on it, first write the installment amount and then write the cash price portion of the previous installment. Actually, we are saying previous installment, but actually this installment will fall after installment 3. Correct? It means this is the remaining amount and interest is always computed on the remaining amount. So, 11,000 into 1 by 6, that will give you uh, 1833 3, something like this 1833 3, this will be your interest and if you are going to subtract the amount of interest then if you are going to subtract the amount of interest 1833 3 from 6000 you will get 4167 now 4167 will become your cash price portion similarly now we will move over to Next installment, correct, in reverse order, that is second installment. Of course, the installment amount is 6,000. In order to compute the interest, first I am going to write the installment. Then I am going to write cash price portion of earlier installments, 4167 and plus 5,000. I will add all these figures and multiply them with 1 by 6. So, my interest will be equal to how much? My interest will be equal to 2528. You also do the calculation by yourself. 6000 minus 2528 is equal to 3472. 3472. Is it clear to you? Now, we move over to the first installment. In this case, the first installment is 6000. There is no down payment in this question. You must have noticed. Correct? So, in order to determine the interest on this installment, 6000 plus 3472 plus 4167 plus 5000. Multiply it with 1 by 6. The interest which you will get will be equal to 3107. Now, subtract 3107 from 6000, you will get 2893. 2893. It will be equal to 15,532 or 9 and 3, 2. 15,532. Correct? So, this is how you are supposed to do it. So, once you have been able to determine the cash price now the next thing should be extremely easy for you then we move over to the next step that is our second step in fact third step in this case books of purchaser books of purchaser As far as books of purchaser are concerned, you are going to prepare higher vendor account. 
purchaser will prepare higher vendor account isn't it or not yes sir in order to prepare the higher vendor account first of all first year beginning in the beginning we will purchase the machinery entry will be machinery account debit to higher vendor account and the figure will be 15532 cash price correct then in the first year in the beginning we are going to make the down payment however in this particular question there is no down payment correct so we will reach the end of the first year we will pass the entry for interest due and interest in the first installment you have to be careful this is your first installment there is no down payment in this question and interest is 3107 so 3107 you are supposed to write here then you are going to deliver the first installment you will pay the first installment higher vendor account debit to bank account first installment the first installment is 6000 now you will have to balance it you will write balance carry it down now when you will balance it it will be equal to 12639 so this is first year task now we come over to the second year in the second year in the beginning we will write balance brought down as far as balance brought down is concerned 12639 this is the balance which we are supposed to write then we will come over to the end of the second year and here we are going to write interest and interest if you remember we compute it as far as second installment is concerned 2528 i will show you here we compute it this is your second installment and 2528 is your interest then at the end you are going to make the payment to bank however this is your second installment in fact 6000 so after having made the payment now you are going to balance it again now balance carried down will be equal to 9167 9167 this is your second year now we come over to the third year in the third year in the beginning we will write balance brought down and balance brought down is 9167 this is the balance correct then we will come over to the end of the third year at the end of the third year we are going to pass the entry for interest now if you remember as far as interest was concerned in the third installment it it was 1833 correct now at the end of the third year we were supposed to make the third installment however we defaulted in making the third installment so on account of that the machinery which we had acquired has been repurchased so i am going to write here two machinery balancing figure so machinery is repurchased so indirectly we will have to re uh, what we call refund the machinery and uh, hire vendor will take back the machinery hire vendor account debit to machinery your entry is and then you are going to simply balance it if you will balance it it will be equal to equal to 11000 so that means at this particular value hire vendor has taken back his asset which he had sold to us correct now we will prepare machinery account to know actually how much loss we incurred because technically the purchaser can never ever have profit machinery account in the first year in the beginning 
we will write here two higher wind. We purchased machinery for 15,532. 15,532, if you remember, correct? Now, we will reach the end of the first year. Charge depreciation. Now, depreciation will be 1553 approximately. Then we will write balance carried down 13,979, I think so. So, as far as first year task is concerned, that is over. We come over to the second year. In the beginning, we will write two balance brought down. That is 13,979. Correct? We will reach the end of the second year. Again, we are going to give the depreciation. Depreciation will be equal to 1398 approximately correct so balance carried down again i will have to write so balance is actually 12581 so this is your second year task and now we come over to the third year in the third year in the beginning we will simply write balance brought down that is equal to 12581 this is the balance we have put up now and we will come to the end of the third year. At the end of the third year, I am going to write depreciation once again and depreciation at 10%, 1258. Now, at the end of the third year, if I am going to separate 1258 from 12581, that means from the perspective of the purchaser, this particular asset is commanding this particular value at this particular moment. And this asset, which is commanding a value, in value in the eyes of the purchaser at 12581 minus 1258 this item has been taken back by the higher vendor so we shall here write by higher by higher vendor and as we saw earlier that higher vendor has repurchased this particular machinery so this particular machinery has been taken back by higher vendor at 11000 correct so in this case there is marginal loss balancing figure it's still there is a loss three two three marginal or insignificant or very high logically purchaser can never have as i told you earlier any profit is it clear to you or not so in this question we had to do it in this manner and let's see actually about the next question what is your opinion if you have given it a try, that's fine. And even if you haven't, you can simply pay attention over here. 2.5. As far as 2.5 is concerned, I marked it. Logically, you should have had done this particular question. Men purchased a machine from women on 1st of January 2018 on higher purchase system. The cash price of the machine is 30,000. Now, this time, the cash price of the machine is very clearly written, 30,000. Payment was to be made thus, 10,000 half yearly over two years so we have to pay 10,000 over a period of two years the first installment is to be made on 30th of June 2018 correct however the asset was purchased on Jan 2018 further question states that rate of interest is 5% per annum and depreciation is actually 10% per annum on written down value basis so this is the question. Now further the question says that books of accounts were closed on 30th of June each year. This is very important line. The installment due on 30th June 2019 could not be paid. As a result, the vendor took possession of the machine, prepared the machine account and the higher vendor account in the books of Mr. Man. Man is the purchaser. Correct? Mr. Man purchased a machine. So this is the question. Now, we will move over to let's first analyze this particular question correct as we normally do so question number 2.5 i think in order to analyze this particular question i stretch a line
of year is starting from 1 1 2018 correct 1 1 2018 on this date we purchase the machinery and it is clearly given that cash price of the machinery is 30000 it is clearly given in the question that cash price of the machine is actually 30000 if you have paid attention let me check also Yes, cash price of the machine is 30,000 and uh, we will come back to the question. Cash price of the machine is 30,000. This is given to us. Further, it is given in the question that we are supposed to pay four installments and the first installment will be paid on 30th of June. 30th of June 2018, the first installment will be paid. And the installment amount is actually 10,000. That means in this question, there is no down payment. There is no down payment. The second installment we will have to pay on 30th, 31st of 12, 2019. Correct? This is your second installment technically. And third installment you were supposed to pay on 30th, in fact it is 18, 30th of June 2019. Your third installment, that is after six months. See, you have agreement has taken place on 1-1-2018. And at the end of the first six months, the first installment has become due. The next six months, the next six months, third installment 10,000 and finally, your fourth installment is due on 31st of 12, 2019. That is fourth installment. So that means these four installment are stretched over two years period of time. This is what was written in the question. Correct. And now in this question, in rate of interest is 5%. However, in this question, there is no problem because cash price is given. You can easily find out the interest. The default has been committed over here. That is third installment. We paid the first installment, second installment. Default is committed over here. Rate of interest, as I told you, given to you as 5%. Correct? So, I don't think that you should have any problem in solving this particular question. But still, I will do it for you. Step number one, in order to solve the question, Calculation of interest. Calculation of interest. So we shall now compute the interest. In order to compute the interest, we shall write here cash price. First of all, then we will write here gross installment. Gross installment. Then we shall write here interest and finally cash price portion. Under the column of cash price, first of all, simply write 30,000 as your cash price. Now, on 1-1-2018, 1, 1, 1, 1, your first installment, logically you were supposed to pay down payment on this date, but you, but in this question, there is no down payment, correct? Now we will come over to 30th of June, 2018, 30th of June, 2018, the first installment. We will pay the first installment of 10,000, sorry, gross installment of 10,000 on this particular date. First of all, in the column of gross installment, I will write 10,000. Then I will compute the interest. In order to compute the interest, how I am going to compute the interest, please pay attention. 30,000, 30,000, you, if you want to write, you can write 30,000 into 5% into 6 by 12. Is it clear to you or not? So that will be equal to 750. That will be your interest. Is it clear to you or not? By subtracting 750 from 10,000, we shall get 9,250. This is our cash price portion. Now cash price portion 9,250 will have to be subtracted from the cash price. So after the first installment, now we are still left up with how much? That is 20,000. 750 20,750 correct now we will come over to 31st 
of 12 2018 correct next installment will become due after the next six months that is on 31st of 12 second installment amount of installment first of all you need to write under the gross installment this is the first task now compute 5% of 20,750 for 6 months and that will be equal to 519. 519. 20,750 into 5% into 6 by 12. Also write if you want to write. Now I will subtract 519 from 10,000. I will get 9481. 9481. Is it clear to you? So 9481 I will have to subtract from this particular figure 20,750. So after paying the second installment, I am still left up with how much? I am still left up with 11,269. This is the balance. Now on 30th of June, third installment will become due. Amount of third installment is 10,000 as you know. Correct. You will compute the interest 11,269 into 5% into 6 by 12. Your interest will be equal to 282. Subtract 282 from 10,000, you will get 9718. This is your cash price portion. Cash price portion should be subtracted, but now I need not require to go further. Why? Because here default has been committed default has been committed so there is no point in unnecessarily wasting time in computing interest of the fourth installment under the second step that was our first step correct now under the second step what we are supposed to do under the second step we will prepare first of all books of purchaser books of purchaser under the books of purchaser we are supposed to prepare higher vendor account and in order to prepare the higher vendor account correct purchaser is mr man remember one thing now in this question first of all We'll, we shall write here on 1-1-2018 dates are given. We purchased a machinery. It is clearly given in the question. Correct? And cash price is also given to you as 30,000. On 1-1-2018, we were supposed to pay the down payment. Unfortunately, no down payment in this particular case. Then we will come over to the next installment date the next installment date is 30th of june 2018 after six months we will compute the interest which we computed as 750 correct as 750 now if you want to do the work quickly you can also directly compute without doing this particular step honestly speaking this particular step is not going to fetch you any marks honestly speaking correct because interest can be directly computed. For example, how we compute the interest? By subtracting down payment from this figure, correct? So balance is still 30,000. I will apply what we call 5% for six months on 30,000. I will get interest of 750 straight away. So then on 30th of June, 2018, I'm supposed to pay the first installment. Now, as far as first installment is concerned, that is of 10,000. So as far as first year task is concerned, that is, I think, over. So first year is over. Now we will compute the balance carried down. The balance carried down will be equal to 20,750. 20,750. Now, once you are done up with the first year, obviously you will move into the next year, which will start from, see, you have to take care of the dates. Now we have reached the end of 30th of June because our accounting books are books are closed on 30th of June. So next year will start from 1-7-2018. We will write here balance brought down first of all. 
and balance is 20,750. However, next installment is due on 30th, on 31st of December. After 30th June, the next installment is due on 31st of December. First, we will come over to 31st of December 2018 and we will compute the interest. The interest amount, if you remember, in the second installment was 519. 519. And now, on 31st of 12, 2018, I will write here to bank. This is logically my second installment. Second installment is 10,000. Second installment has been duly paid. So, balance now is equal to how much? But please pay attention. This is your balance carried down. If you want to show, you can show it. But you should not do the balancing at this moment. Why I am telling you not to do the balancing at this particular moment? Because accounting year is getting closed on 30th of June. So it is better not to write balance carried down. Correct? Then it will pass a signal to the examiner as if you haven't paid any attention to the accounting date. That is why because we are under a habit of simply after making payment of installment, simply balancing. So that is why here I'm cautioning you, our accounting year hasn't ended yet. So now we will reach the end of the accounting year, that is 30th of June, 2019. Because on 30th of June, our, what we call accounting year ends. So now, first of all, we will again make due the interest, correct? The interest which we computed for the third installment was 282. And now we are going to write here 30th of June 2019 to bank. If you want to write in the examination, you can write it this way. However, you should not write any figure over here because a default has been committed. Now, because default has been committed, quite obviously, the seller will take back the machinery you are going to write here machinery now you will balance it subtract any 10,750 10,000 11,551 so at this value the machinery will be taken back in fact this value signifies that you were you means the purchaser purchaser was is still supposed to pay 11,551 so quite obviously in the opinion of the higher vendor in the opinion of the seller, this machinery, from the perspective of the seller, is commanding a value of 11,551. If I'm supposed to pay you 11,551 for an item, quite obviously, it means that item from the seller's point of view is commanding a value of 11,551. So that is why we say that he will take back the machinery at this particular value. Correct? So now, as far as this particular account is concerned, it's over. In order to determine your loss, mm -hmm. okay, it got rubbed off. Let me see, can it come back? Right. That's the black magic, isn't it? Now we will write here, machinery account. Machinery account. Why we are preparing machinery account? Why we are preparing machinery account? Because we want to know loss or profit. Actually, there is no point in saying profit. We know, and in fact, you know better than I actually that now, purchaser can never have any profit as far as what we call re reposition is concerned. So, first of all, we shall write here on 1 1 2018 to hire vendor. We purchase the machinery for rupees thirty thousand. Now your accounting year will end on thirtieth of June, two thousand eighteen. Correct. So at the end of the accounting year, you are going to write depreciation. So when you will compute the depreciation, you have to be alert that thirty thousand into ten percent into six by twelve because only six months time has elapsed till now. So 1,500 will be your depreciation and balance carried down will be your 28,500. 
So as far as first year is concerned, from the perspective of the purchaser, this machinery is commanding a value of this much. Now we will come over to the next year which will begin on 1-7-2018. We will write here balance brought down. We will write here 28,500. Now after 1-7-2018, the accounting year will end on 30th of June 2019. Again, I am going to provide depreciation. Now, depreciation in this case will be, depreciation in this case was on written down value method or I think it was on a straight line method. Correct, when originally this question was there, it was a straight line method, I think so. So, depreciation, you will compute 30,000 into 10% into 12 by 12 for 12 months. Because from this date, that is 1-7-2018, now we have reached the end of 30th of June 2019. So one year time has elapsed. So entire de so depreciation amount will be 3,000. Now if I would subtract from 28,500 amount 3,000, I will get 25,500. That means purchaser is of the opinion that this asset is worth 25,500. However, Higher vendor does not think so and he took back this particular asset as we compute it, correct, for only 11,551. So that is why you will have a loss because you were under the impression that this asset is having a value of 3,000 minus 28,500, 25,500, but he is taking back at this figure only. So that is why you are going to have a loss. And your loss amount will be equal to 14099. So this is how you are going to compute this particular question. Is it clear to you? Generally, in the examination, you are asked in the books of purchaser generally, correct? And after having done this question, there is, we have done 2.5 we did. Now just have a look over this particular question. In this particular question, it is given that, it is given that Super Express Limited purchased a truck on higher purchase for 5 lakh on 1st of April 2019. Payment to be made 2 lakh down, so payment is to be made in this manner, 2 lakh as down payment and 3 annual installment of 1 lakh 50,000. See, sometime what happens, it becomes very difficult to decipher whether 5 lakh is cash price or higher purchase price. Sometime it becomes difficult. Why I am saying so? Because Super Express Limited purchased a truck on higher purchase system for 5 lakhs, so some of us may get confused that it is higher purchase price. So if there is a confusion, then what you simply do, simply first of all you write the down payment. Your down payment, as you can see, is equal to 2 lakh. And then you are supposed to make 1, 2, 3, payment of 1 lakh 50,000 each for next three years. So you must have noticed it is coming to near about what we call 5,50,000 if I am not wrong, 4,6,50,000. 4,50 plus 2 lakh. So now because this is your higher purchase price down payment plus what we call installment. So now we can say with surety that this price must be the cash price. Further, it is given, if the amount is payable on 31st of March 2020, that is end of the first year, end of the second year and end of the third year. Rate of interest is charged at 25% per annum by the vendor. The buyer depreciates the asset at 20% per annum on return down value method basis. Because of financial difficulties, the buyer after having paid down payment, and first installment failed to pay the next one. Next one means the second installment. 
and as a consequence, the vendor took back the asset. Vendor took back the asset. And in this question, it is also given, after taking back the asset, the vendor spent 15,000 on repairs and then sold the asset for rupees 3,25,000. I think you can manage this question without any problem. Isn't it or not? So, still I am not having a very, uh, what should I say, confident reply. So, I will have to solve this question first of all, first of all for you. For that, I will have to create a space. And if I will create a space, then I will be left up with no space. So, what I will do, I will solve this question over here. Now, 2.6, 2 2.6 question, correct? So, as far as question is concerned, we have already seen that in this question, your cash price is actually 5 lakh, correct? And you are supposed to pay down payment 2 lakh rupees and 3 installment of 1 lakh 50 thousand each and your rate of interest is 25%. This is the question, correct? And uh, in this particular question, uh, default has been committed uh, at the time of second installment, correct? So, this is the situation as far as this particular question is concerned. So, step number A, interest computation. As far as interest computation is concerned, first of all, what we are going to do, we are going to simply write here cash price, cash price. Then we will write here gross installment. Then I will write here interest and cash price portion. Because cash price is given in the question as 5 lakh, I am going to write first of all 5 lakh. Dates is also given 1-4-2019. So on 1-4-2019, I will pay down payment. Down payment is 2 lakh. No interest is there. Entire payment is for cash price portion. Because this payment is always for cash price portion, that is why we write it here, correct? And as I have already told you, by adding interest and cash price portion, we get the amount of gross installment. That means down payment is always equal to gross installment and it is known as zero installment. So many times I have now told this. 3 lakh is the remaining amount after the payment of the down payment. Now we will come to the end of the first year, that is 31st of 3, 2020, whereupon I am going to pay the first installment. The amount of first installment is given to you as 1,50,000. Correct? Now, so many questions we have done. Your rate of interest is 25%. So you compute 25% of 3 lakh and you will get 75,000. This is your interest. By subtracting 75 from 150, we will get 75,000 as the amount of cash price portion. Now 75,000 you will subtract. You are left off with 2,25,000 after the end of the first year because you have paid the first installment. Now we will reach the end of the second year, 31st of 3, 2020. Second installment you are supposed to pay. Second installment is 1,50,000 once again. However, you are going to compute 25% of 2,25,000. If I am going to compute, it will be equal to 56,250. 56,250. You subtract 56,250 from 1,50,000 to get 93,750. And now you subtract 93,750. Actually, honestly speaking, there is no need to go further because default has already been committed. We are supposed to do it only till up to this particular point. But just for 
a little bit of practice, if I will subtract it, I, am, I will be left up with 131250. Actually, you need not require to go further, but just to, for the sake of practice, on 31st of 3, 2021, if I would have had paid the first installment, sorry, the third installment, 150,000, interest would have been, if you remember, under gross installment method, we never write, we never compute the interest straight away. So what we do? First, I will write the same figure here. 131250 because I do not want any balance after the third installment. So this is the first thing which I will have to do. And same figure I am going to write over here. In fact, this is the second thing which I have to do. First thing is I will write the installment. Then I will write 131250. It means I am considering 131250 as the cash price portion. Now I will take the difference of these two. The interest will be 18,750. Just to remind you of this particular point, I went further to the third installment, although in this question only till up to this particular point is needed. Correct? So once you have determined the interest, the next task should be quite easy for you. Correct? It should not be a bothering fact, but many students I have seen, they want complete solution. They don't get satisfied. So, books of purchase. As far as books of purchase is concerned, You are going to prepare higher vendor account on 1-1-2019 you have purchased this time a truck and the cash price is 5 lakh. Correct? On 1-1-2019 you will pay the down payment to bank and down payment is 5 lakh. Then we will come to the end of the first year, 31st of 3, 2020. And interest which we computed is 75,000. Sorry, down payment is 2 lakh. I have written 5 lakh. I will compute the interest. See, I could have straight away computed the interest in this manner also. 5 lakh minus 2 lakh is equal to 3 lakh and 3 lakh into 25% is equal to 75,000. That was my point. So 75,000 which I tried to explain you earlier. So this is your interest to you and on 31st of 3, 2020, you are going to write once again to bank. This is your first installment. First installment is 1 lakh 50,000. then you will balance it and if you will balance it your balance will be equal to 225000 so as far as first year is concerned task is over we move over to 11 that is 14 2020 you have to take care of the dates Next day will be 1-4-2020, balance brought down 2,25,000. Then you will reach the end of the second year, 31st of 3, 2021, and you are going to write here interest. We computed the interest in the second year, it was 56,250, if you remember. 56,250, isn't it? Then I am going to write... 31st of 3, 2021, 2 bank. This is my second installment, 1,50,000. Now, after the second installment, if you remember, the balance, if you don't remember, you can do the balance, no problem. Your balance carried down will be equal to. In this question, did we pay the second installment or third installment was default was made? Let me check it up. I have forgotten. 
I think in this question the default is at the time of which was the question. After having paid down payment in first installment, failed to pay the next one. Failed to pay the next one. So first installment was paid, but unfortunately, second installment is not paid in this particular question. Down payment we have made, we have made the first installment, but second installment is not paid. So we'll come back to the solution which we are doing. Just wait. I think we were here. So in this question, actually, default has been made at the time of second installment, right? Here also we have written second installment. So that means second installment is not paid, correct? So I will write here bank and then I will write to machinery because now machinery will be taken back. It will be equal to 2,81,250. So at this value, at this particular value, the machinery will be taken back, correct? So till up to this stage, you are supposed to do this particular question. Then in order to determine your loss or profit, you will prepare truck account also, sometimes your flow gets disturbed, correct? This is what happened with me now. So I will prepare truck account. In order to determine my loss, in fact, should I say that way around. So as far as truck account is concerned, truck account, correct? Now. As far as truck account is concerned, I will write first of all on 1-4-2019. On 1-4-2019, we acquired a truck. And we acquired a truck for, I think, 5 lakhs. Cash price is 5 lakh. So you have written the cash price. Now you will come to the end of the first year, that is 31st of 3-2020. What will be the amount of depreciation? In this case, depreciation is 20%, so 1 lakh. So balance carried down will be equal to 4 lakh. Then you will write here 1 for 2020. You will write the balance brought down. Here you will write to higher vendor. Two balance brought down 4 lakh. Now you will come to the end of the second year. You will provide the depreciation in the second year. Depreciation is 20% on written down value basis. So 4 lakh into 20% is equal to 80,000. It means in view of purchaser, this asset is commanding a value of 4 lakh minus 80, 3 lakh 20. But seller took it only seller took it back only at two lakh eighty one thousand two hundred and fifty. So that is why there is a loss. So I will write here by higher vendor and higher vendor took back this machinery only for two lakh eighty one thousand two hundred and fifty. That is why we will have the loss. Is it clear to you or not? So your loss will be equal to thirty eight thousand seven hundred and fifty. 38,750. And just to orient you with some more practice, suppose if I ask you how you are going to prepare books of vendor, 
books of vendor correct now as far as books of vendor is concerned books of vendor you are going to prepare higher purchaser account higher purchaser account you will write here higher purchaser account correct and in the higher purchaser account now consider yourself as the what we call accountant of the uh, uh, the seller seller that is higher vendor from the perspective of the vendor you have to now view the things so on 1 1 2019 you will sell the asset to the purchase what entry you are going to pass higher purchaser account debit to truck account so your truck you have sold and you are supposed to receive 5 lakh 5 lakh is your cash price is it clear then on the same day you are going to receive down payment you are going to write here buy bank and amount is equal to 2 lakh correct then you will come to the end of the first year actually this time dates are 1 4 2019 and then you will come to the end of the first year your entry will be higher purchaser account debit to interest account you will make due the interest amount of interest is 75,000 at the end of the first year you will receive first installment bank account debit to higher purchaser account first installment first installment is 1 lakh 50,000 so balance carried down you are going to write now 2 lakh 25,000 balancing figure then you are going to write here 1 4 2020 balance brought down 2 lakh 25,000 then on 31st of 3 2021 at the end of the second year you will make the entry for interest and we computed the interest in the second year as 56,250 on 31st of 3 2021 we were supposed to receive interest we were supposed to receive the second installment sorry which we did not receive so on account of that on account of that the truck will come back to us so we will write here by truck account balancing figure 2,81,250 at this value we will take back the truck correct now we will prepare a goods repurchased account remember one thing goods repurchased what is your goods repurchased that is truck sold on hire the truck which you sold on hire on hire purchase system now you have taken it back when we say goods repurchased account it means directly or indirectly we are preparing the truck which we sold on higher purchase and which has now been returned so we shall write here first of all if you want to write the date 31st of 3 2021 on this date you will write the entry goods repurchased account debit to higher purchaser because from higher purchaser you have taken it back and you took it back for 2 lakh 81250 Further, it is given that you spend some amount on its repairs. You spend some amount on its repairs, 15,000. And it is given in the question that you sold it by bank. You sold it for 3,25,000. Obviously, you are going to have some profit. Now, you should not be under an impression that your total profit is only this much, which is reflected by this account. No. Your profit is 28,750. Actually, the seller is very smart. 
in between he has earned some interest he has are you getting my point or not and he has also got some installment from earlier from the purchaser and now again he is selling the asset he is earning further 28750 so he is earning double profits so this is how you are supposed to do this particular question is it clear to you i think now you must be feeling confident of tackling any question from full reposition correct so after having done this particular question let me see what is given in next one Two point seven. Now, as far as this particular question is concerned, it is given that Rapid Engineering Works sold to Wilkins Industries a machine of the cash value of thirty-one thousand three hundred and sixty. So, it is given to you on one four two thousand twenty-one. It was sold. A sum of nine thousand was paid at the time of delivery, and that been down payment is this much and balance was payable in three equal installments of 9000 each and balance amount is supposed to be payable in three equal annual installment of 9000 each correct so this will be your higher purchase price 9000 plus three installment of 9000 that means 27 more so total 36 rate of interest is 10 percent per annum purchaser charge the depreciation at the rate of 10 percent per annum on diminishing balance method Purchaser Wilkins Industries failed to pay the installment due on 31st of 3, 2023. Now, in this particular question, if you look at carefully, in this particular question, uh, just, just give me one second. Now, in this particular question, we have seen that our cash price is given to us as 31,360, correct? And higher purchase price question states that your down payment is actually 9,000 and I am supposed to pay three installment of 9,000 each, 9,000 each. So total higher purchase price will be equal to 36,000. Correct. Rate of interest is also given to you in this question. Rate of interest is 10 percent. And the purchaser charge depreciation at the rate of 10 percent per annum. Now the as down payment will be made on 1 4 2021. Then first installment will have to be paid on 31st of 3 2022. It means and third installment is 31st of 3, 2023 and fourth installment is 31st 3, 2000 sorry third installment is this one second installment is this one and first installment is on this particular date question states that the installment due on 31st of 3, 2023 was not paid that means default has been committed at the time of second installment correct so this is the question in this particular case now actually you can do this question so i will do it for you without i will compute the interest directly correct i will prepare in the books of higher purchaser i will prepare higher vendor account i will prepare higher vendor account correct because i just simply want to give you a hint in this particular question so when I will purchase the asset on 1-4-2021, 1-4-2021, I am going to write 31,360 because this is the cash price which is given to us. 31,360, this is the cash price. On the same date, on 1-4-2021, I will pay down payment to bank down payment is 9000 then i will reach the end of the first year 31st of 3 2022 i will have to pass the entry for in fact 
just give me a second. Your cash price is uh, 31,360 of course. And here I am going to write by machinery account or whatever it is. I think machinery. Right. So we have purchased a machinery. Now we have paid the down payment. We will reach the end of the first year. Now I want to compute the interest. How can I do so? 31,360. You write 31,360. This is your cash price. Subtract down payment. This is in the table also you do it in the same manner. Now, by subtracting 9,000 from this figure, now we will compute the interest and the interest in this particular case will be 10%. Isn't it or not? So, 2236 will be your interest. 2236. Is it clear to you? This is how you can straightway compute the interest without what we call taking the help of the table. Now we will pay the first installment. The first installment. The first installment is 9000. So as far as first year is concerned, my accounting is over. Correct? So balance carried down will be equal to 15,596. This will be your balance. Correct? Now, you write balance brought down on 1-4-2023. 1-4-2022, sorry. Balance brought down will be equal to 15,596. This is your balance. You will reach the end of the year 31st of 3 23 Again, you will have to compute the interest. Now, how will you compute the interest? The point is this. It is very simple. Now, you simply take 10% of this amount. Is it clear to you? 10% of this amount, that will be equal to 1560 approximately. Because interest is computed on the opening balance. Correct? We have reached the end of the year, so I will compute interest on it. 1560. Now on 31st of 3, 2023, I was supposed to make the payment, but I did not. So machinery will be taken back at this particular value. So machinery will be taken back. We will write here to machinery. So you will compute the balance. The balance will be 17,156. This is your balancing figure. This is how you are going to Prepare the higher vendor account. And in order to know your loss or profit, see you can prepare machinery statement. It is not necessary that you have to prepare machinery account. I am simply preparing machinery statement. One for 2000. Uh, what was the date? One for 2021. On 1-4-2021, we got a machinery and the cash price is 31,360. 31,360. Is it clear to you? Obviously, on 31st of 3, 2022, at the end of the first year, I will provide depreciation. Correct? And if I am going to provide depreciation at 10%, it will be equal to 3136. That means, from the perspective of the purchaser, this machinery is having a value on 1-4-2022, uh, that is uh, equal to 28224. 28, Move over to 31st of 3, 2023. Again, I am going to provide the depreciation. Depreciation is on written down value basis. So, depreciation will be equal to 2822. Just to make you understand, that means at the end of the second year, at the end of the second year, if I am going to subtract from 28,224, 28,000, 
28,224,2822, I will be left up with 25,402. That means from the perspective of the buyer, this machinery is having a value of this much. But it is repurposed. But it is repurposed at repurposed at what value? Repurposed at as we computed earlier, seventeen thousand one hundred and fifty-six. So that is why you are going to have a loss. So loss in this case is equal to this much. If you will subtract, it will be equal to eight two four six. Correct. So now all the questions, all the questions of this particular um, section I have solved for you. Is it clear to you all the questions which I gave you for homework? So all these questions have been solved. I hope you can compute the interest of your own. Otherwise, you, if you have been able to understand it fully, then you should be in a position to understand this particular methodology of computing interest also. Is it clear? Now, obviously, now in the next uh, next time when I will meet you, we'll talk about what we call partial reposition. And we talked about partial reposition when I started what we call reposition. So in case of partial reposition, we will say that we have sold some asset, but and default is also committed. That is why the word reposition is coming into play. But pro, But in this situation or scenario, we are not taking back all the assets which we have sold. Some of the assets have been sold and some of the assets are still retained by the what we call seller. Is it clear to you or not? So on such count we take leave of you and shall meet you in the next session.